Well, hello, friends. And it is Father's Day today, so I'm going up to my mom and dad's. And I say my dad. My real father passed away a year ago on Memorial Day. I love you, Dad. Um, I have also have a stepfather, and I call them both my dad. So today I'm going up to have um, a dinner with my mom and dad uh, for Father's Day. And you all know my mom doesn't do sugar because of her cancer and all that. So I wanted to put something together for her with fresh fruit and some cream. Uh, you know, whipped cream, you could definitely use plain old whipped cream in this, and you could always add a little powdered sugar to your heavy cream if you make your own. Um, although our berries are very sweet. I've already tasted them. They're lovely. We've got beautiful strawberries, um, raspberries, and of course, blackberries. So this is going to be a fresh berry parfait with cream, and it's unsweetened. And um, I'm going to put a little twist on this, so you'll see that. So how I did this, I already whipped my heavy cream. And you can, it's so easy, you can even whip it with a whisk by hand. But I used my, um, I got a little KitchenAid immersion blender with a whisk on the end. And that's what I used, and I whipped it up in like no time. Anyway, I'm going to be putting these in these cute little wine glasses that I got. How nice is that? So let's get started with this, and I'll show you how this is done. It's so simple to put together. Okay, so I got my glasses right here. I'm going to do two of them. Let me get a spoon that I can use to dole this out. And I always put just a little bit on the bottom of my cup just to give it some height. And then all I'm going to do is slice up some strawberries, put them down in the bottom. You can be nice and generous with these if you want. And, of course, you can use any fruit you want as well, okay? This is good when you want a snack, a little dessert, and, you know, you're avoiding sugar. Or you can sugar this right up. It's your choice. I'm just making this very plain and very easy. I'm going to show you how simple it is. Okay, there's my beer. Now I'm going to take a dollop, a nice sized dollop. And I made a mess on the side of the cup. Spread that around a little bit on the bottom. Okay, now I am going to do some blackberries. I'll turn that around here. Now we're just going to put berries in here, blackberries. And I'll probably use all of these berries. This is a little pint of berries. They're very sweet. I'm going to put a few of them in there. In each one of your cups. All right, that looks pretty good. Okay, now I'm setting aside the tops because now I'm going to take a little of my dark chocolate cocoa powder and I'm going to whip that in with the remainder of my cream. Maybe like a good half a teaspoon. You don't need much. Then I'm going to take, see I got that in there, because this is already whipped, I just want this incorporated. I'm just going to put this in there and stir this all together. Okay, there we go. Put it all in there. All right, now I'm going to take and I'm going to top it off with this here.
I might need a little bit more of that. Okay, now I'm going to throw in my raspberries on top of all this. I like lots of fruit in them. So I like to bring them up to just about the top, the rim of the cup, or the rim of the glass with fruit. Okay? Now I'm going to take, and I'm going to top them with more cream. Okay, now I'm going to take these, and I'm going to garnish the top. i got a strawberry that I cut, and I'm going to put a little sprig of my mint on there. Each one of them. Fan out your strawberry. Put a little sprig of mint on there, and there you have it. Aren't those gorgeous? What a lovely, lovely dessert quick and easy and it just looks beautiful so there you have it friends give that a try you can always add sugar you can sweeten it as much as you want you could even use honey um i just keep mine plain because the berries are very very sweet and it just pairs well with the unsweetened cream so there you have it friends give it a try thanks for watching